I'm excited to show you the growing foam experiment today. This experiment is from lesson 12 in the Good and the Beautiful Chemistry Science Unit. When atoms rearrange themselves to form new properties, a chemical change is taking place. This, as you've learned, is called a chemical reaction. Today, we are going to create a chemical reaction using two common household items, baking soda and vinegar. These will be our reactants. The substance produced is called the product. What do you think our product will be? Turn to lesson 12 in your student journal on the Growing Foam Experiment page and write down your hypothesis. Also, remember to keep track of our procedure for this experiment and record any observations using the lab notes section. Pause the video whenever you need more time. Okay, let's find out what the product will be. For this experiment, we will need vinegar, baking soda, a graduated cylinder, a mini measuring cup, a balloon, and a kitchen scale. I've already measured out 20 milliliters of vinegar here. Now, let's weigh the mini measuring cup on the kitchen scale. Okay, it's three grams. Write the weight on the lines next to your lab notes section. Now, with the scale zeroed out, we'll measure 10 grams of baking soda into the cup. Now, we'll add the cylinder with vinegar and the balloon to the scale and weigh all three of them together. Okay, all together, they weigh 71 grams. Write this weight as the beginning weight in the data recording section. Now, I'll carefully stretch the neck of the balloon over the top of the mini measuring cup and pour the baking soda into the balloon. Gently, I'll take the balloon off the measuring cup and move it to the graduated cylinder. We have to be very careful at this point not to drop the baking soda into the vinegar. See how the balloon is hanging over the side of the cylinder so that all the baking powder stays in there? Now for the fun part. Watch carefully as I take the top of the balloon and lift it up so that the baking soda drops into the vinegar. Whoa, what happened? The reaction produced a gas, which then rose up and filled our balloon. Take a quick moment to write your observations in your student journal in the lab notes section. It is important to note that when you mix baking soda and vinegar, it creates an endothermic reaction, which means that it absorbs heat and thus the beginning temperature will drop. If you want, you can add that interesting fact into your student journal. To finish up, we are going to check and record the final weight of all the products. What's our weight now? 73 grams. Don't forget to add this data in your journal as the ending weight and write down any final observations as well.